Hi friends, welcome back to another What I Eat In A Day video. Today's video is just kind of a standard work from home day for me, but I actually have a meal delivery service, so that is going to be what I make for definitely lunch, because I already snuck a peek at the recipes. So I'm definitely making one of them for lunch, and I might also be making one of them for dinner, I'm not quite sure yet. So yeah, this is just kind of like a standard eating day for me. I worked out in the morning, I had a little snack before I went, worked out, got home made breakfast and I'm just gonna bring you guys along for the day so without further ado let's go ahead and dive in so I started my day with a cup of herbal tea and I keep all of my herbal tea in these cool boxes that I got from the container store and the tea that I had today was healthy fasting it has no reason for fasting I just really love the taste of this tea um, I love pretty much all yogi teas they're my favorite and then I also had half of a protein bar because I was going to go for a workout and a full protein bar is usually a little bit too much for me and I had a chocolate mint square bar they are like my favorite I love chocolate mint anything and these ones are really good so that was my pre-workout snack all right, so I am showered, back from my workout, ready to get this day going, and I'm gonna make breakfast and my matcha. I think I'm not gonna film my matcha today because I've literally put matcha in like every single what I eat in a day video and it hasn't changed. So if you are new to this channel and you've not watched one of these videos before, I will link my most recent one down in the description box for you and that will show you how to make my matcha latte because I don't want to take up all the time on this video. But I am going to be making a smoothie. I'm going to be doing things a little bit different today. It's not going to be a smoothie bowl. It's just going to be like a regular smoothie. It's going to be veggie packed. It's going to have berries, protein, all this good stuff. And I can never resist using toppings so I'm probably going to like dump a ton of toppings on top and make it look really messy but I love smoothies I just I know I share them in every video but like they're honestly my favorite breakfast so hopefully it still gives you guys inspiration for new combinations or new ways to sneak in veggies um, into your morning meal so let's get started with our smoothie so the smoothie today started with about a cup of spinach, that was all I had, and then I added in a whole chopped up zucchini, as well as a scoop of vanilla protein powder, and then I did about a half cup or so of frozen cauliflower, as well as some frozen blackberries and frozen blueberries. And then the liquid is the liquid I always use. I used a combination of coconut water as well as just regular water. And then I just blended this up in my Vitamix until it was smooth and creamy. And then I just poured it into a glass. And of course, like I said I was going to, I did toppings. So the toppings I did today were granola, flaked coconut, some creamy peanut butter, and chia seeds. And the peanut butter I use is from Brad's Organic. It's really, really creamy and drippy, which is how I get that drippiness. And then the granola is my banana bread granola, which if you haven't tried it yet, you absolutely should. It's a fan favorite. Everybody loves it. And it is clustery, oil-free. It's delicious. So check it out. I kind of like this view. I've never used this. I have you guys like propped up in my little spice cabinet. This is kind of awesome. Okay, so I am going to get started on lunch. And I mentioned in the intro that I am going to be using a meal delivery service. I am excited to be partnering with Purple Carrot in today's video. I've talked about Purple Carrot before on the channel, but they are a vegan meal delivery service that has absolutely delicious recipes and this week's sound so good. So I'm gonna like walk you through the little pamphlet that you get that shows the different recipes. We are going to be making a tofu, curried tofu color drops, I think is what they're called, which is like my ultimate lunch, like spice, flavor, rice, tofu, greens, mm love it so I'm really excited about that and then I'm not sure if I'm gonna make another one for dinner I might um, I don't know we might go out to dinner haven't decided yet either way I will check back in with you guys when I make dinner obviously but for now let's make lunch and I'm excited about this recipe also because I know it's going to be meal prep friendly so I will have lunch for the rest of the week which is awesome so let's go ahead and dive into our collard wraps Super excited to be getting another purple carrot and sharing it with you guys. That's Trevi's medicine. 
So let's look inside and see what's on tap for this week's order. So they do have the extras section that you can order, which are breakfast and lunch options. For dinner, they have all of these delicious sounding options. And the ones that I chose were the curried tofu collard wraps. I also chose the roasted root spring salad and the southern style corn fritters. So again, everything is vegan, which is awesome. So I I can't wait to dive in. So one of the things that I love about purple carrot is that it gives you everything that you need as well as the cook time and the calorie, like all the nutrition breakdown. But it also gives you a step-by-step -step instruction so you know exactly like how to maximize your time and what steps you need to take so that it doesn't take as long to cook. And then I also love that everything is pre-portioned for exactly how much you need for each, for the whole recipe, meaning each serving. So I'm going to make these curried, curried tofu collard wraps for lunch and everything I need is in this bag, which is just so awesome. So the first step is to cook the rice and the quinoa. You'll just add the serving of rice that they provide you in the box, add in some water, bring it to a boil, cover it, and cook like you would normal rice. While the rice is cooking, you can get all of your veggies prepped. So we're gonna grate some carrot, and then we're also going to cube up some tofu. And if you guys have not yet tried purple carrot as you're kind of watching me chop up this tofu, I wanna say that you can get $30 off your first box by clicking the link that is in the description box. So make sure to take advantage of that because it's a great deal, it's a great offer, and these meals, like you can see, are so good. So I highly, highly recommend it. And again, that's just linked down in the description box for you. So once you have your tofu all cubed up, um, we're going to just have that. We have our chopped up ginger, grated carrot, and our scallion. And we're just gonna start making the tofu. So you're gonna add some oil into a pan, add in the ginger, and then I also added in some grated garlic. You also wanna add in the scallions, and you're just gonna give this a quick saute until everything is kind of like golden brown. It takes about a minute or so. Then you're gonna add in the curry paste, give that a quick stir. Because I wasn't using a nonstick pan, I had to deglaze it a little bit with some water, which is just a good trick in general. So I deglazed it with some water, made sure everything was like nice and combined. And then you're gonna add in the coconut milk. So it's full fat coconut milk and it's awesome. So good, love me some full fat coconut milk. As well as the cubed up tofu. And then basically just let the coconut milk melt because it will be probably solid because it's kept in the fridge. And then once it melts, it will be nice and saucy and it will coat up on that tofu. And oh my gosh, my house was smelling so good. Once you're almost about done, you're gonna add in some chopped cashews, which I actually was surprised that were in there, but I loved. It added like a little crunchiness, which was just so good. And I swear you guys, this was actually one of my favorite meals that I've ever had from Burble Carrot. It was absolutely delicious. So the final step while this is simmering away and cooking is to prepare our collard wraps. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is thinly slice off that stem. This helps you roll it a lot easier. So you basically just cut down that edge of the stem and then I just cut off the end. And my trick to actually make them really pliable is to gently steam them quickly. So I just have a small saucepan with a little bit of water. I bring it to heat and then I basically just dip the collard wrap in the water and it gets softer and it makes it much easier for you to bend and roll. So you can just let them cool down and then once they're cool, you can use them as your wraps. So you can see here, it's all nice and pliable and bendy and also easier to digest, which is great. And for preparation wise, you are gonna add just some of that rice on there and then you'll top it with some of your creamy coconut curry tofu. Oh my gosh, so good. And then finish it off with some of the carrots, any extra scallions you have. And we'll finish it off with a little bit of lime juice. And then you're basically just gonna roll it up like a little burrito. You'll fold in the sides and then tuck the other sides under and roll it up. And you can either eat it like this, but I wanted you to see the inside of it. So I decided to cut it in half just so you you can see what it's like on the inside and it is so pretty it's so good it's like i could eat this every day of my life i loved it so again you guys highly recommend purple carrot like you can see the meals are delicious and i'm talking about them all in this video but check out the link that is in the description box to get that special deal 
I'm back, it's dinner time. You're still in this spot, because I think this is a great little spot to place you while I talk about what recipe I'm gonna make. Turns out Matt had a work thing after work, so he is not home for dinner tonight, which means I am going to have salad for dinner because that is like one of my favorite things. And the salad that I got from Purple Carrot this week looks so good. It is the roasted root spring salad. It has roasted vegetables, lentils, frise or frise, which I never personally buy or eat, um, but I like it. It's kind of like crunchy. And then it's in a creamy horseradish dressing, which sounds really interesting. So we start by cooking lentils, then we're gonna roast up some vegetables, then we prepare the salad, make the dressing, and serve it. Sounds easy enough, right? So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first step for the salad is to cook up our lentils. So you're gonna just add your lentils into a pot, add in your water, bring it to a boil, cover it, and then let the lentils cook for about 25-ish minutes. While they're cooking, you can prep up your vegetables. So you're just gonna thinly slice up the carrots that are in the box, and you're gonna cube up the potato. Add those onto a baking sheet, and then you will drizzle them with some oil. You could use olive oil, avocado oil, coconut oil, whatever you like. I used some olive oil. Sprinkle it with sea salt and pepper. And then there is some seasoning packet that you get with this recipe that goes on the potatoes. So you just sprinkle that on and then give everything a good toss to make sure it's all coated in the salt and the pepper and the herbs on the potatoes. And then we're gonna just pop these in the oven for about, mine took about 30 minutes at 425 because they were very large carrots. So just pop them in the oven and let them do their thing. While those are roasting and everything else is cooking, you can get part of the salad together. So just chop up your frisee and then you're gonna thinly slice up your radish. I use a mandolin slicer for radish. It's like the easiest thing to do ever and I love it. And then I also made the dressing. So the dressing starts with some chive cashew cheese as the base, which is so delicious. So you add that in there. You also squeeze in some lemon and you add in some horseradish from the box and then just give it a quick stir and it's gonna be pretty thick. So I actually added in a little bit of water and a little extra lemon juice, but it depends on the consistency that you want. If you wanted it more cheesy, like thick and kind of goat cheesy, you could leave it thick and that would be totally fine. So here's the texture that I went for. Um, it was still kind of thick, but it was really good. And then here are the roasted vegetables, which of course are gorgeous and beautiful and colorful and crispy and delicious. And then it's time to make up the salad. So the salad actually starts with the lentils on the bottom and you just add the lentils onto your bowl or your plate. And then I wanted to make it look kind of pretty so I just like spread them out and made them like an even layer on the bottom. Top that with the frise and radish mixture that you toss in a bowl. And then you're gonna top that with the roasted vegetables. So your potatoes and your roasted carrots. And whenever I film stuff like this, it's quite messy, but you guys get the idea. <laughs> and then you can just finish everything off with a few dollops of that delicious dressing. The dressing was out of this world good. Like, oh my gosh, I loved it so much. So get a good generous drizzle of the dressing onto that salad. And then I finished everything off with just a quick crack of fresh pepper because I just love pepper on it and this was enough for two meals thankfully I had enough for myself for lunch the next day because this was an awesome meal prep recipe I just left the dressing off and I let everything just cool like that before I assembled it and it was absolutely delicious and here is that gorgeous salad it was filling it was flavorful I loved the crispiness of from the potatoes I loved the freshness from the radish I really enjoyed this meal a lot this was probably my favorite box of purple carrot that I've ever gotten so if you guys again are not yet part of their community and you want to get a box check out the description box because I have that special offer for you and you will not regret it and that's pretty much it my friends I hope you enjoyed today's video don't forget to click the link that is in the description box below to get that special discount on your purple carrot box I personally love purple carrot I think their meals are awesome they're really easy to make and of course they're all plant-based which is awesome because I know a lot of this community is plant-based so if you guys are like the type of person that just sometimes feels stressed about dinner time 
you want meal prep friendly recipes, you don't feel like going to the grocery store, definitely check them out because you won't be disappointed. As always, I also just wanna thank you guys for tuning into today's video. I've linked my entire What I Eat in a Day playlist down below. I don't even know how many videos we've shot at this point. These are one of my favorites to film because A, I know you guys love them, but like I also just like filming them because it kind of gives you like a sneak peek behind my day, even though a lot of my days are the same, but still. Um, yeah, so thank you guys for tuning in. If you did like it, check out that playlist. I'd also love for you to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe before you go if you aren't yet part of our community. There's a red button right below this video. It says subscribe. You just tap that button and that will subscribe you. Otherwise, have a fabulous rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys! Oh, <laughs>